anchoring on Sobe Sunset uh, has some very interesting features. This is a sleeve with a spud pole inside of it that's hydraulically actuated, and that's seawater hydraulics. This also serves as a stem for an umbrella which will reach over this seating area and provide shade and a bracket for the table. Essentially, there's an 8 inch pipe inside of a 12 inch pipe which has a surface differential of about 50 square inches. And the pipe on the inside, the spud pull, which will uh, plunge into the ground below, uh, is about 500 pounds. And so to lift that, it, we need about 10 to 20 pounds per square inch of pressure. And so we are diverting water from the seawater pump into this cavity, which raises the spud pull with a pneumatic catch at the top, which holds it in place. If you look down below here, this is the anchor locker where the conventional anchor chain is that's fixed to the bow. And that's where the seawater is pumped into the sleeve. Uh, and when we let it down, this is where the seawater exhausts and it goes through that hole in the bow, um, which is part of the chain locker. Let's go down and have a look at where it comes out of the boat at the base. Now, the spud pull is an alternative way to anchor. Uh, we have a conventional anchor on the bow, but it's a lot of work. It puts you at the end of a chain, so you have a significant swing. In a storm, it's certainly the right way to anchor. But most of the time, to use this boat the way I believe it should be used, you'll be in shallow water and dropping a spud in the ground and rotating with the wind or tide is the way to do it. So the spud pole is designed to drop down approximately 10 feet from this point. This point is approximately three and a half feet from the water line. So we've got 13 and a half feet of spud. And this boat is four feet, six inches deep. So we're looking for eight, 10 foot water to drop the anchor. Close to shore, uh, away from ocean waves, and that's where we think this spud will really be a friend to the operator.